here we go. We're starting to ramp up, boys, so let's get it. Hi, welcome back to another Alchemy Stars video. My name is Lace, and today we are going to be talking about a new event that just got recently announced, I think like 48 minutes ago, and it is called the Eye of the Storm. However, I want to like kind of call out that a lot of this video is going to be like pure speculation and how I'm going to be preparing and advice like based on that speculation. However, I do not think that this is completely unfounded speculation nor advice because like just drawing from a lot of experiences from other gatches, I think we can make a lot of educated guesses. And so as always, there is my disclaimer. Do not sue me if I get it wrong. And I hope you guys like kind of make the right decisions because I hope that I do as well. And I hope that I don't give you guys like crappy advice based on my crappy speculation. All right, with all of that said and done, let's jump into the announcement itself. And so it is an event called Eye of the Storm and it is set to launch in a week from now. Today for me, it is actually the 1st of July and it's saying that this is coming out on the 8th of July. So yeah, seven days from now. Other than that, like there is actually nothing here. There, there is no other information. And so you guys are going to be wondering how the heck can you make a YouTube video out of that? And like I said, guys, this is going to be a pure speculation video. And if you guys don't really like that, then I do suggest you click away now. Also, shameless plug for my Twitter. If you guys do like see me, <laughs> check us a like. Sometimes I think I'm a little bit funny, but yeah. All right, back to the event. And so we have the Eye of the Storm here. And so let's talk about what I think is about to go on. So let me bring up the game real quick and let's have a talk about it. All right, guys, here we are. We are in the game and look at my cute little Uriel that I actually had to open my wallet for. <laughs> and so where I believe that this event is going to go into is obviously into the explore. So there's probably going to be like a new tab over here, probably like a new icon or something. And then we can click into it. And I'm going to wager that there's going to be a whole bunch of new stages, especially as a first event. I don't think they're going to be doing anything like ultra spectacular or like unique. I think they're going to go with like a tried and true method, which is like kind of like make a side story kind of thing and then have like a separate map for it, especially following on from like the Arknights formulas or other like gatches that are like use these stage based systems. I think that we're just going to get a whole bunch of stages, probably like, let's say like special one to nine or something. And here is where I'm going to get a little bit hopeful because I'm going to hope that the drop rate of like some of the Ascension materials is going to be higher in those event stages than they are in these story stages. I really hope they do that because then if they don't, there is not really any incentive to grind out any of the event stages as opposed to the story ones over here. On top of that, I reckon there is going to be event currency. Like event currency is just like such a standard thing in all gadgets. So for example, guys, let's pretend that these are all like event stages. So like 8-6, 8-6 is going to give us like some coins, right? If the event is called the Eye of the Storm, then it's going to give us, like, <laughs> I don't know, like eyes. And then so with those eyes or whatever event currency that we're going to get, hopefully we will have an event store that we can actually purchase things from. I would imagine something like maybe two star flares, a couple of like ascension mats, maybe like six of them or something. And then like potentially some gifts for Aurorians or like some other upgrade materials, like the ones that you get from the EXP stages. And yeah, like to be honest, all of this sounds like within the realm of possibility, right? If there's anything that they could do, this is kind of like what they would look at first, right? Because this is kind of like the cookie cutter of all events for gacha games. With that being said though, in some points, Alchemy Stars has been a little bit innovative, such as like some of the base kind of like idle animations. I'm hoping that you guys have seen it, but if you go into like the rec rooms or the bars or something, like some of the characters actually pull out like the Beat Saber thing, as well as like actually pour out a drink for some of the other characters. And I think that's actually pretty funky. So if I go into the bar, let's have a look at if like there's anybody serving there. And oh man, my bar is empty. Huh. <laughs> Man, that sucks. All right, but you get the point, right? Like sometimes there are actually people doing cool things in here. So, wow, there's nobody doing cool things anywhere. Okay. I think I need to work on the mood in my base, huh? One other thing that I'm actually hoping to see that they give us is furniture because we have like so much capability or like so much potential for more furniture points. However, we don't have like nearly enough furniture to be able to hit that like 10K. You guys can already see I'm at bridge level five. I have a maximum mood of 10K, but I can only hit 5.5K and that's kind of sad. And so yeah, maybe it will be purchasable. Maybe we have to earn it, something like that. Another one, event missions, like that's probably gonna be a thing. But yeah, as I go on with these features, you guys can already kind of like have this formula in your head. Obviously, if it's completely off, like I am so sorry, guys. Like this is again, just speculation. Please don't sue me. I am a poor ass lad, man. All right, so I guess with all of this in mind, you can kind of like form the event of what it possibly could look like. Of course, they could definitely go for a less generic event and do something a little bit more innovative. But honestly, especially for the first event, I kind of doubt it. But I digress. 
digress. So let's kind of talk about what I would do to prepare for the event. And so these are the kinds of things that I'd be looking at doing. The first thing, which is the biggest thing I would say is to get your Colossus almost maxed out, if not maxed out. When the event comes in the scenario that some of the stages drop more Ascension materials than like the story stages, you want to be putting all of your stamina into the event stages then. Because from a stamina efficiency point of view, like it is just more worth it to do that in the long run. And so what that means is that you don't want to be diverting your stamina at that point to like something like the Colossus. Honestly, there is still a whole week and I was able to max my Colossus in like two weeks. And so you guys should be able to do as well. It's going to be really, really important, especially the Prism Pillar, because it actually gives so much stamina. And so more stamina, again, sink into the story stages and hopefully either we get more tokens or we get more Ascension materials, something like that. Okay, so what else could I do? So I kind of want to like take a step back and kind of like talk about this principle of not sinking stamina into Colossus because I want to sink as much stamina into the event as possible. And so where else would you possibly have to sink stamina? And that is into your team. So make sure that your teams are kind of prepared, right? And this is obviously a no-brainer. I would say like to be able to clear event, I would say maybe get up to like A240. As you can see, I'm not even A240 yet, but I can actually clear the entire game with this team, as well as this team over here, which actually features a lot of A140s. So my expectation, especially because the game is new, is that they're going to try to make it like, you know, balanced, make it kind of hard, but not too hard so that it's going to turn away a lot of the newbies. And so it's kind of for that reason that I would say, try to get your main teams to at least like A140 or A240. Honestly, I would get your main team to A2 at least just to be safe. All right, next, what else can we do? So this is probably one that's actually pretty big and that is to save up your, what are they called? The stamina pots. So you guys can already see it's these guys over here, your recharger packs, they give 60 prism each. Again, this is all hinging on the idea that we do want to spend more stamina onto the event stages. I think you guys get the point, right? Like it's very, very highly likely that we do want to put stamina into those event stages. And so if that's what's in our best interest, then we want to like save as much stamina or like prepare as much as possible so we don't need to sink it later. However, now that I talk about this, there is kind of like another thing that's floating around in my head. And it's that some of the gachas actually don't use stamina, like they use an event stamina. And this is really interesting because like essentially what happens is that you spend your own stamina and it gives you back event stamina. And then so using that event stamina, you grind out the event. And so if that's what's going to happen, then I would say like this whole video can go into the trash can because at that point you can spend your stamina on whatever you want and then you're going to get the event stamina and then you can just sink that into the event. Again, guys, this is all just speculation predictions as to like what could possibly happen so that you guys can kind of be mentally prepared because this is a global release. This is the first time that it's ever going to be run and like it didn't show up in CBT. But to be honest, like I'm really excited because like I'm starving for a bit of content right now. Another point that I want to talk about is that you guys should get your friends like in preparation. <laughs> that actually sounds so freaking weird. You guys should make some friends in preparation. <laughs> that still sounds freaking weird. Go find some friends that you can add that have some really busted units that could potentially support you if the boss in the event stages are really, really hard. So you guys can already see this friends menu over here. You can add a bunch of randoms. However, I would advise you go onto the Discord and go look for some like, I guess, more like-minded players or players that are around your power level. Or you could be like me and like go look for an A3 Sharona and just hope that that's going to kill everything. But yeah, the bottom line is that if they permit it, hopefully like if you cannot pass the stages in the event, then hopefully you can use like somebody else's like A3 Sharona and just kind of melt through it. That would honestly be pretty nice. So yeah, there's always that option if you are struggling a little bit. So after that, I want to talk about the possibility of it being like a really time consuming event. As some of you know, like some of the stages are actually pretty hard and you have to like run carriers to be able to save some time. And so the two things that I'm going to be doing is A, I'm going to make sure that I have like seven or eight out of eight carriers like when we actually go into the event, because if it's going to be a really grindy event, I don't really want to deal with that. And so like hopefully we'll be able to use carriers to actually like, you know, finish them out. And the other thing is to actually try to get your secret territory done so that, you know, it doesn't have to take up more of your time. Sometimes if an event is too grindy, then you start forgetting about other things. For me, especially like Ark Knights, I grind the event and I completely forget about Annihilation. And that is exactly what prompted this kind of thought in my head. I better finish secret territory before I get into the event. So the interesting thing about the launch date of the event, July 8th, it's that I think it's going to actually come with the secret territory reset. And so, yeah, okay, I guess like what I'm trying to say just to sum it up is don't forget about your secret territory. It's really good. You get two balls a week at least, as well as all that furniture and all the other good stuff, okay? But yeah, with that being said, I'm really excited. There's not much else that we can do to prepare, especially since this is like a first launch, a first look at it for all regions. Honestly, guys, I'm having a blast with this game and I really hope that this event is going to be good. And so I guess with that being said, there's not much left to talk about. And I do want to remind you guys, this is pure speculation, pure predictions, just based on like, I guess my experiences in Gacha. Yes, you guys could call me Dr. Lace because I have a PhD in Gacha games. And honestly, that's really freaking 
freaking sad. But I digress and let's just wrap up this rigging video. All right, guys, secret question. How do you guys feel about my prediction? Do you think I'm like kind of spot on or do you guys think I'm like way off the mark? In summary, I don't think they're going to come out with like anything innovative or like a new game mode or anything. I think it's going to be like pretty cookie cutter. And so if you guys do agree with me, let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys don't, well, let me know what you think it's going to be. But otherwise, if you guys do drop a comment down in the comments below, I would really appreciate that because it means that you've made it to the end of the video, which means that you've watched it the entire way. And thank you so much. But otherwise, if you guys have found this video kind of helpful, I know it's a lot of speculation, but like otherwise entertaining, then consider a like, a sub, a comment, a follow, a pin. Come join the Discord if you guys are looking for other people to play with or just kind of like, you know, want to hang out. And if you guys do want to support the channel, there are some affiliate links down in the description as well as a membership thing. But otherwise, as some guys said, all good things come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching my video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.